what's good so today i'm just going to be sharing with you my basic wardrobe staples my personal philosophy when it comes to building a wardrobe is investing in really high quality basics so that you can just get a lot more out of your wardrobe you know when you open your closet in the morning and your closet's literally overflowing with clothes but you're still like <sighs> I have nothing to wear. It's probably because you don't own any basics to build an outfit combination with. You're probably um, buying too many trendy pieces and not buying enough basics to really complete an outfit. So that's my personal philosophy. This is just a little guide for you guys to kind of build or rebuild your own wardrobe and kind of get a little bit more out of your wardrobe. So let's get started. So the first thing in my personal wardrobe basics are a graphic crew neck sweater. And this is just one that I really like by Fila, but I just think that it's really cute and really comfortable. In one of my lookbooks, I used this with a Burberry pleated skirt and it looked so put together and cute. But you could also just wear this like while you're lounging around at home or while you're just running errands or anything. Um, I just think that this is a really nice piece to have in your wardrobe. Another basic for me is an A-line skirt. You could use this for literally anything. You could use it for a night out. You could use it for everyday wear. You could wear it for a formal event. It's just so versatile, but make sure that it's like a monochromatic color, like whites, blacks, or neutrals, just so that it goes with everything that you're wearing. A piece that everyone should have is a black blazer. Now, I don't have a regular job where it requires like really business professional wardrobe, but I think that everyone should have a blazer anyway, just in case, you know, um, you have business meetings or you just wanna look a little bit more put together. I think that you could dress down a simple blazer. This one is already pretty dressed down because it's kind of cinched right here and it makes it a three quarter length, but you could easily dress down a blazer by wearing a t-shirt and jeans and you'll still be comfortable but still look put together. Um, I'm really into the model off duty look right now, so I don't know, I think this is just a really great piece to dress up or dress down, and blazers are never gonna go out of style. So might as well invest in a really good blazer. Another piece that everyone should have is a white collared shirt. Now this one has like a little bit of a design, like it has stripes on it, but I really like this one. And you should purchase this in a material that you're comfortable in and something that fits really well. Anything that fits your body well is going to look tailored and in turn it's gonna make you look more like put together and like a little bit more expensive. So when you're buying basics, make sure they fit your body to a T or even if you have to go get it tailored, like I recommend getting it tailored because it just makes you look um, more intentional and put together. But this is one from Vince. Now this is a 100% silk shirt, so I spent a little bit more money on this, but I don't regret spending that much money on it because I know that this is a versatile piece. I'm going to wear it all the time. You could dress this up or dress it down, and um, I don't regret making it rain to get this shirt. I know you guys know all about this basic, but it's true, everyone needs one. This is the LBD or the little black dress. This is just a really simple dress that believe it or not, I bought from Forever 21. As you can see right here, literally purchased this from Forever 21 when I was in high school. When you're shopping at stores like H&M, Forever 21, or like Zara or something like that, you have to make sure that you're buying like a nice quality material because there's a lot of things at Forever 21 that are not gonna hold up, but there's a lot of things like this that are gonna hold up. This is a really nice, thick fabric and it really held up. I bought this in high school and it's still like in great condition. It hasn't pilled, which is I think is mo one of the most important things about fabrics is um, you don't want them to pill. I don't know, it's just a really cute, just above the knee little black dress and it has little cute cutouts right here to give it like some sort of uniqueness, you know what I mean? There's just so many ways that you can wear a little black dress. I found this at Forever 21. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a basic. The most important thing is looking for a nice quality material. Okay, and then we're going to get into jeans. So you want a pair of blue jeans. I personally like dark wash jeans more than I like light washed, but these are just ones that I bought from Gap. They make my butt look really great. <laughs> I recommend splurging and investing in a good pair of jeans. Again, I bought these when I was in high school. They're still in great condition. It's because I invested in a really great pair of jeans that look good on me. And then I also have white jeans. These are jeans by Rag & Bone. These are actually 
um, boyfriend style jeans so they're really really casual and they're really comfortable so I'll be wearing these you know for my model off-duty looks you know what I'm saying and then you should also have a pair of nice fitting black jeans it's just a staple the reason why they're not here is because they're in the laundry so just keep that in mind you need a black pair of pants and then for me, a lot of people will probably disagree with me. They probably won't think that this is a staple, but for me, this is absolutely a staple. A pair of really nice, like, fashion joggers. Just because my style is a little bit more like streetwear. I love streetwear. So I just have a really nice pair of joggers. And for some reason, a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that these are actually from Gap. I guess it's kind of off-brand for Gap to have this type of style, but yeah, I got these from Gap. It's really nice. They have zippers right here. They have zippers right here in the legs, so it's easy to take on and take off. I like pairing these with like a tight top, so like a bodysuit. I'll wear these with a bodysuit or like a crop top. Anything that's tight on top because these are pretty baggy. You kind of want to just like balance out your outfit. Also, if you're like traveling or something, like you're going on a plane, you don't want to, you don't feel like wearing jeans. Like these are just really great and you still look good. Oh, another thing that I want to mention is a good bralette. Now this is one that I just ordered from Amazon. I just got here yesterday and it's really great. I am actually selling a bralette on Depop if you're interested. It is this one right here. And yeah, I just think it's so cute. You can wear it under like shirts like these and it kind of makes it okay for your bra to be seen. I personally don't care when bras are seen, but people freak the hell out. I think bralettes are a really cute, easy way to add spice to a really simple outfit. Like I'm just wearing a black shirt with jeans and it kind of just like, you know, adds some edginess or uniqueness to an outfit. Another thing before I get on to the last two items, um, I think that really dainty everyday jewelry is a must for your basic wardrobe. So for me, this is just a really simple um, ring that I got. This was my mom's engagement band. I don't know, it just makes me feel really like dainty and put together sometimes. And then I also really like this. now. A lot of people might disagree like, oh, well, nameplates are just a trendy thing. You shouldn't invest in those. But um, in certain parts of the country, in certain cultures in this country, these have been around for a really, really long time and they're not going anywhere. So I decided to get one of these. I used to have one of these um, when I was younger and it had my dad's name on it. So I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of my childhood. But I invested in this one. You don't have to spend this much money on a necklace, but if you're gonna wear it every day, like never take it off, um, you should invest in like real 14K gold or something like that because if you don't, then it's gonna change color. The biggest difference between 14K and 18K is just the color. Um, 18K is a little bit more yellow and 14K is like, kind of like this color. I mean, it's still gold, but it's not as yellow as it would be. So this is 18K and this is 14K. So as you can tell, this is just a lot more yellow than this one is. But yeah, nice dainty everyday jewelry is a must for me personally, in my opinion. Okay, now moving on to the last two pieces. I believe everyone should have a leather or moto jacket. It doesn't even have to be real leather. This is just a faux leather jacket that I literally bought from Nordstrom Rack for $60. Um, this is actually cheaper than the one that I bought at Zara. And I think that this is a nicer material in my opinion, but yeah, it's like super cute. It just brings a little bit more edginess to your outfit. Actually, I am selling two moto jackets in my Depop store if you're interested, this one. And then I also have this one. So again, you don't have to spend a million dollars on basic pieces. Again, I bought this at Nordstrom Rack for 60 bucks. You don't gotta make it rain, boo boo, but sometimes, um, Sometimes it's worth it, just like this one. The next thing that is a must for me is a trench coat. Um, I wish that this was in black, but I actually like that it's in red because reds look really good on me. I love wearing reds. That's why, as you can see, most of my things are either black, white, or red. I bought this at Forever 21 when I was in high school. I, I literally bought this seven years ago, almost a decade ago, and it hasn't pilled. Really nice quality. It has a really nice like uh, satin uh, lining, and it's really warm. It's really comfortable. Nice, thick, high-quality fabric. And I think that everyone should have a trench coat. It just makes you look more put together. I feel like I say that for every single piece. 
but it's true it's just a classic piece that's never gonna go out of style so yeah those were my personal wardrobe staples mix and match and accessorize and you will get so much more out of your wardrobe I promise Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time.